why did you start off so far? It was, 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 the, was the draw that, that set you off no, being more urgent? Or? For the, the, first, the first three rounds, first three or four rounds was, we were supposed to be, you know, tactical watching it because we know he's from some sharp early on. You know, we know he likes to counter and he, he looks for that right hand over the top. So we were trying to draw the leads and I wasn't busy through no fault of anybody else except from mine. I didn't use my left jab enough. Uh, but, so we was going and we were too... It was, we were supposed to be defensively trying to you know, counter him, counter the counter, but it, it didn't work. So obviously I lost the, the judges, you know, but he was looking busier. He wasn't doing much either, but he was looking busier, so you can understand why the judges, you know, to the judges give him the early rounds. But it was a, a slight mistake, you know, that, you know, in hindsight we should have just set out the blocks and just put it on him because if I would have done that, the fight would have been mine, you know, comfortably. In terms of where you're at now, you said November, December possible. Yeah. You're looking to stay at 122, maybe jump up to 126. Really, the names are at 126. Right? I'm going to say I want to go where the big fights are, to be honest with you. And all the all the names are at 126. Another thing is I've been at Super Mountain now for 15 years, so I I'm, I can make the weight, you know, and I make it comfortable because I'm dedicated and I'm very very disciplined. Scott, oh, sorry. Oh, but if you do decide to stay at 122, yeah. Is, is that fight with Guillermo working down on the table for you? Because yeah, he, he went over there and fought Jazz at Dickens. Yeah, that, that song is definitely on the table. Um, I know he's, I think he's been mandated to fight Moises Flores. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I don't know whether Flores is going to take the fight, but that's out there. There's the Hugo Ruiz. That's another uh, fight I'm being interested in. The recently IBF world mm -hmm. champion now, Jonathan Guzman. So he's definitely uh, a world title fight I can go straight back into down at uh, June in February, if I, if, I, if I stay at that weight. Otherwise, we'll look at a big fight in uh, the February. But if division. that fight does come on the table, would you take the fight? Oh, if I don't, yeah. Because, you know, everyone's saying that he's, being, Listen, he's saying that, that you and Frampton yeah, kind of cruise all duck there. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, at the end of the day, people would probably agree with him, not the same way we ducked him, but it was, you know, when you're coming through and me and Frampton were both unbeaten, and, you know, we got no win. He's a he's a class fighter. You know, he's pound for pound best in the division for for a reason. So if one of us would have got beat before that, before me and Frampton fought each other, he would have sort of shine off it. But it's like now, you know, but I am I definitely set that fight in a heartbeat. I'm not going to go in there and out point him. I'm not going to try and kid myself. I'll go in there and I'll find that shot to you know put him out. We only can be hurt. Um, so yeah, I would definitely set that fight. Now, now there's a lot. UK champion. Yes. The guys are running boxing right now. Yeah. But in the terms of a Kell Brook or Mary Khan, what they're doing, instead of fighting each other, they're moving up in weight to fight middleweight. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? In regards yeah. to them not fighting each other because they're yet taking challenges that most people don't think they should do right now. I mean, I agree. There's nothing better than you know, there's a lot of fights that in Britain that could happen and they could fight each other and you know, the, the fights the fans want to see. But instead, as you said, they'll. You know, they'll move up in weight, uh, two weights, and, and fight somewhere else. Nobody's giving them a chance to win it because I think the mentality is well, if I get beat, I'll, no one expected me to win, so I'm in a win win situation. I'm getting good money for it, and so I think that's the, the mentality, but in a way, it ruins, it spoils the sport a bit, it ruins the sport. You know, there's, there's plenty of good fights out there, very good fights. That, if the fight is for each other, you know, but it's, I think like one of the things is, is you get a loss and your money's half, you know, you're not on the same, same money and I think that's, that's the problem in boxing, that's why everyone wants to protect that all.